Brian Blevins, and I'm a board-certified personal injury trial lawyer with the law firm of Provost Humphrey. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about asbestos. I'm often asked, why is asbestos litigation continuing? Is it continuing? Is that just an old problem that we don't need to worry about? Unfortunately, the answer to that question is no. It is still an ongoing problem as more than two to 3,000 Americans are diagnosed each year with mesothelioma. Asbestos is the name given to six naturally occurring mineral fibers recognized for their versatility, durability, and resistance to fire and chemicals. Because of its unique properties and low cost, asbestos was used in thousands of common commercial products such as insulation, drywall, and paint. While asbestos was banned in terms of its use as an insulation product, its use as an insulation drywall ceiling tile, and other commercial and residential construction product continued well into the 1980s and 1990s. As such, the risk of asbestos exposure continues even today as remodeling uh, and renovations continue to occur. Asbestos was also one of the most frequently used materials in the construction and manufacturing industries uh, for well over a century. What you may not understand about asbestos is that it is one of the most utilized materials in the industrial complex thousands, tens of thousands of American workers were exposed year after year, day after day, month after month in the industrial working world. These people were exposed without proper safeguards, without appropriate respiratory equipment, and without appropriate government regulation. As such, the exposure levels that they have has caused them to have disease implications for anywhere from 15 to 50 years in the future. Even with governmental safety precautions, health risks continue. Asbestos exposure causes serious respiratory diseases such as asbestosis and pleural disease. It is the almost exclusive cause of mesothelioma in the United States, a rare and highly aggressive cancer that affects the membrane lining of the lungs, the heart, and the abdomen. Mesothelioma is a horribly painful disease that is caused by the inhalation of asbestos particles. Sometimes mesothelioma can develop after very short but intense periods of exposure. Other times, it can develop after years and years of work in the industrial complex. Today, between 2,000 to 3,000 Americans are diagnosed with mesothelioma, with males being four times more likely to be diagnosed. Another common victim of asbestos exposure and mesothelioma are housewives who are exposed to asbestos while washing their husband's clothes. When mesothelioma is diagnosed, it is almost always fatal. It also will not appear until a minimum of 15 years from the date of first exposure to asbestos, but unfortunately, it can develop up to 50 years from the date of last exposure to asbestos. If you have been diagnosed with mesothelioma, know this, it's not your fault. The companies that made asbestos products, distribute them, and installed them knew about the dangers of asbestos in the 1920s, 1930s, and specifically about mesothelioma in the 1950s and 60s. There is no cure for mesothelioma, but there is compensation available. If you or a loved one was exposed to asbestos and you were diagnosed with any illness associated with asbestos exposure, including asbestosis, lung cancer, or mesothelioma, not only should you seek immediate medical treatment, but you have legal rights. There have been bankruptcy trusts that have been established to benefit victims of asbestos exposure, and the tort system is still available for those who have legitimate claims supported by exposure uh, and with proper medical diagnosis. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with mesothelioma, lung cancer, or asbestosis, you may have legal rights. My name is Brian Blevins. I'm a board-certified personal injury trial lawyer with Provost Humphrey.